You still here? I'll come back and get my things after my shift. Yeah, well, you just might find them in the front yard. You want breakfast? Well, I was gonna go up and eat at the cafe. No, you don't. Now, you can go on and tell Les and Bobby and Charlie that I threw you out. But I ain't gonna have you going to work eating cafe breakfast here. Thank you. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Melissa, Melissa, look. <laughs> this whole thing just one big mistake, baby. I swear that girl don't mean nothing to me. She meant enough for you to go and sleep with her. How many times I got to say it? I am ashamed of what I did. You ashamed of what you did or you ashamed because you got caught? Well, what you want me to do, huh? I mean, you want me to beg you for forgiveness for the rest of my life? How the hell you want your eggs? Chip, if I wanted to, that way I'd never have to see another sunrise again. Yeah, unless it's because you leave. Yeah, hey, like you were this morning. I'm not good, though, because my boy Jeffrey, he's going to be all conference football and basketball this year, and I'm not going to miss one of his games. Yeah, you betcha. Oh, my darling. Oh, come on. Don't oh, start singing God. this early in the morning. Oh, God. Hey, Smith. Wilson, Parker, you two guys, hang on a second. Taking you guys out of shaft 15 this morning. Oh, that's great, Smith. Get to work on our golf. <laughs> we need a crew in the junction. Junction? What the hell for? That's the oldest part of the mine, Schmidt. It was robbed before we was even born. It's a good thing you guys aren't running this company. We had a geophysical team from the university down here last month, and they say there's several million dollars worth of coal in those branches. Gasification? Yeah, coal gasification. We've got a pilot plant over in Charleston starting up to do just that. Get to it, boys. and then they squish it all together, you see, and they make gas. Now, you're making yourself enough gas, you see, and the next time they raise them oil prices, you can just tell the spillers to go kiss your sweet potato. No, we're not going to listen to this all morning, are we? Yeah, gasification oh, ain't important. It's high school football. That's what you say you read. I don't know about that. Last that article tell you this part of the mine's about 100 years old? Well, maybe it did, maybe it did. Charlie, maybe it's not too late to change shifts. Thirteen <laughs> C. 13D, that's very bright. What's the matter, Charlie? What's up, bro? Well, that last turn should have put us in pillar 11. This says 13. Well, maybe somebody changed the numbers when they closed the junction. Nah, uh, more likely we took a serious wrong turn back there. Uh, last, Bobby, you track back to the shaft and get old Schmidt on the phone. OK. Hey, Charlie, if we're not back by noon, you start with us. <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> See you around, Bill. We could be digging down here for the rest of our lives. Why worry? You're not going anywhere, John. You could make this a home away from home. Well, I hear it. You're going to need one anyway. <laughs> Charlie, you ought to take a look at this. Hey, Charlie, I think you ought to take a look at this. John, look out! There. 
Some money there? Yeah. I think I can use the hand. Who's there? It is broke. I'm gonna make you a splint. You ready? What's that? What? On your wrist. That's a wristwatch. Hey, come on, man. I need that. Now, you ready? Yeah. All right, hold on. Just hold it. Now. When you're done, you turn out the fire. Huh? Turn out the lamp. It's starting an explosion. This ain't gonna cause no explosion. I'm just hoping that the batteries will hold out. Now, you hold this for me. Right there. No heat. Hey, come on, man. Right there. What are you doing? That's our light! I've never seen a lantern like this before. Yeah, well, you can pick one up at any hardware store. Cost you about 150 bucks. $150. That's three months' pay. Did you say 150 bucks is three months' pay? Uh-huh. Hey, they're still up there. They gotta be looking for us. Yeah. Hey! Hey! Somebody! Help! We're down here! We're here! Hey. You think they're still looking for us? They always do. Yeah, well, it sounds like you've been through a few of these. Well, I've seen it happen. Spent a lot of time digging my friends out of spots like this. I can't understand it. I don't know what happened. I don't rightly know. Uh, one minute I was swinging a pick, and the next I was buried under a that. A pick? Under you that. had a pick? Where is it? Somewhere up there. Oh, God. How could you lose a thing like that? We could dig our way out of here. Save your breath. It's under a ton of rock. I don't believe I know you. I didn't know we had colored working in the mine. Yeah, but we're all over the place, buddy. I don't think I know you either. I ain't never seen you, not on the day shift. You work the day shift and you don't know Ray Dobson? No, I don't. I'm the senior man here. Are you, Ray? In making what you make? Well, you ought to talk to your union rep, man. The only union men in this mine are dead men, sir. Now, Ray, this is stupid. Now, we got a hell of a lot more to worry about instead of you and me down here fighting. You're right. Yeah, right. I'm sure your daddy told you the same thing that mine told me. Just like religion and politics, you don't ask a man what he makes. I wouldn't know. My pappy died when I was born. Cholera got him in 1877. Yeah, well, I'm so... Did you say 1877? I did. Yeah, well, Ray, that makes you about 109 years old, buddy. On my last birthday, I was 35. Now, come on, Ray! I wasn't that good in math, but I do know that if you was born in 1877 and you just turned 35, well, that just brings you up to 1912. That's right. September 16th, 1912. Oh. <sighs> There you are, Dottie. Did we ever get that letter from the school board? Why are you looking at me like that? Reverend Bailey, it is not my place to tell you exactly how to do your job. Oh, come on, Dottie. Why should you be any different? I thought you were going to deliver this letter to Melissa Parker yesterday. Well, I was going to do just that, Dottie, when Mrs. Ritter's husband called about her stroke. I had to spend the rest of the day at the hospital with the poor woman. Oh, I understand. I understand. Dottie. This thing's been sitting here how long? Sixty-some years? Since 1912. And for all we know, it's just some kind of prank. I mean, no one's ever steamed it open to see what was inside it. I don't believe anyone's ever bothered to tell Melissa Parker it exists. 
So it's... So it's, it's a day late. Reverend. Reverend? Reverend Bailey, this letter was entrusted to the church because the instructions would be followed. And besides, until their wedding several years ago, there was no Melissa Parker. I'm duly chastened, Mrs. Clark. Of course, instructions should be followed. Although I must confess, I see no reason to worry that it was delivered a day late. the one that was worried about flames. Now, you just leave that alone. What's this? Well, the last time I checked, that was a $5 bill. Oh, yeah? Well, what do you call this? Counterfeit. This is a perfectly good silver certificate. Are we going to sit here and talk about this, or are we going to try and dig our way out of here? You can dig till doomsday if you want, and you still won't get five feet from where you're standing. Besides, you're using air. Why don't you sit down and rest and save your strength? Somebody's coming. Trust in the Lord. The Lord helps those who help themselves. I don't like this. Maybe I ought to be dead. Maybe I'm already dead. Then what's that make me? You're another ghost. Yeah. There's been a lot of cave-ins down here. Well, maybe you died in 1912. Well, maybe you're the devil himself. Had a whole title collapse. We're trying to get the man out. Keep him out of there so we can get the work done. We'll let him know who's safe as soon as we can. Now move out, boys. Bobby, 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 Bobby. Who's with you? Just last me. What about Charlie and the Parker? They were way back in the junction when the whole thing came down. Damn it! Watch out! Don't you come through? Hey, did you see Johnny down there? Did you find Parker too? We're gonna find this one. The whole thing is down. He's out, man. Try to search for one man whose air is running out in a hundred square yards of tunnel. We may never find him in that. What are you gonna do, give up? No. We got a few tricks. Oh, First turn! Get the rescue team over to the junction. Bobby will show you the way. Les, pull that crew out of shaft six, get them over to the junction from the other side, have them get some picks and shovels. Okay. That's the only way. Okay. Come on, you guys. Let's move, people! Ray, this air's getting stale. Tastes like coal. <coughs> <coughs> you gotta take it easy. Stretch out the supply. Yeah, well, can we talk at least? Can't talk, you might as well die. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I was seeing Abby Carter at the time. <coughs> she had this sister, Sarah. A twin. They was always pulling the switch on me. Just so happened they pulled it the very night I was going to propose to Abby. I guess I was so nervous I couldn't tell the difference. I went right ahead and proposed to Sarah, who said yes. Abby was so mad at me, she wouldn't talk to me for weeks. Which one is that? Is that uh, Abby or Sarah? It's Sarah, of course. She's the one who said yes. Ray, she looks like a good woman to me. You married, John? Yeah. I've been married several years. Her name's Melissa. She was my high school sweetheart. Sarah and I have been married five years Yeah, now. well, five happy years, I hope. Oh, we had our ups and downs. 
Yeah, well, right now I'm having one of my downs. I've been making mistakes. Mistakes I'll be paying for for the rest of my life. My mama used to say every night when the sun went down, it was the death of the sky. But at dawn, it's reborn. She's beautiful. Thank you. There is color in this picture. This has nothing to do with the mine, Mrs. Parker. I've been looking for you. It's about a letter addressed to you. I don't understand. It's, it's old. 74 years old, to be exact. What is this? No one knows. But you're Melissa Parker, as it says. I was supposed to deliver this letter to you yesterday so you could open it. Go ahead. strike you as madness, but there's no other way to put it. If you are reading this on September 15, 1986, then you must stop your husband, John, from going to the Casu Mine. On September 16th, he will be trapped in a cave-in. I don't want excuses, I want equipment. And I want it here right now. Melissa's on her way in here. She's got the Reverend with her. That guy works fast. What about the vent shafts, Dutch? Can't we check those? Junction's an old egg, Bobby. They didn't drop as many vent shafts as we do now. Yeah. We're just going to have to face facts. Our chances of finding Parker are non-existent. Bye. I'm sorry, Please, Melissa. Listen I... to this. John Parker trapped in a junction in a tunnel open September 2nd, 1912. Approximately 25 yards north of Pillar 11. Let me see that. Where did this thing come from? It's been in a safe at my church for some 70 years. Reverend Watts showed it to me when I took over. Good God, Reverend, I can't pull my crews out of shaft 12 right now. You don't just pick up and move a crew like that on some, some goofball idea. Parker's dying down there. Do it. Do what the letter says. Melissa, I'm Look, you're the one that sent him down there. Ray? 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 Did you hear that? What is it? That sound, listen. Ray, there's somebody up there. We're here! We're here! Come on! Keep coming! We're alive! We're here! Come on! We got him! Come on! Look out! He's gonna bust his ass! He's gonna get away here! talking about he's only one missing. Too much dust, they suppose, makes him see things. Oh, Ray, you're Sarah. safe, thank God. Oh, God. Sarah, Sarah, this man saved me. His name's John Parker. He didn't know me. He didn't have to help me, but he's still down there. No, oh, Ray, it's all right. You're safe now. We can go home. I no, got you back. I can't just leave him down there. Ray, they say that you were the only one down no. there. Here's a picture of his wife told me all about her. The picture's painted. 
I know this sounds crazy, honey, but this man's from the future. And somewhere, somehow, she's worrying about him just like you worried about me. I gotta help him, honey, even though it may mean interfering with the Lord's plan. Me? No. Will you get me a pencil and a piece of paper? I don't understand any of this, but I love you. And I will help you. Your husband saved my life, Mrs. Parker. And if you believe that a man facing death thinks only of those things that are important and true, you should know that John was thinking of you. He's too good a man to spend his life begging forgiveness. Sincerely, Ray Dobson. It's okay, Melissa, I'm all right. Melissa. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Let's go home. <laughs>